Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, doctors are on strike and they have their grievances that took them to the streets. It seems this government is not determined on sorting out the mess. And the only thing they can do is to rush to the court and get a court order to try and stop the strike, intimidate the doctors and force them back to the hospital. But this time around, doctors are not bowing down to this. They are so much determined. They refuse to obey court order. They are still on the street. They are still pushing for their demand. Not unless their demand have been met, they will be on the street. That is their position. So, on Tuesday, they were on the road protesting. And the worst for the Kenya Kwanda administration is that finally, the medical students are now joining doctors in their strike. So, as you think you are trying to stop the strike, it is increasing. It is growing big. When the students who have nothing to miss to lose join their own tutors to protest. And here is the reason why they are doing so. That it cannot happen that we have medical students in class when their teachers are on the road protesting. It is no longer manageable. Besides this, they are serious that the government should stop mocking medical interns and uh, doctors. So they are on the street demanding that doctors' rights must be respected. Above all, they are insisting that they will not listen to the statement from William Ruto that we must live within our means, which means they are serious that they will be on the street until doctors' demand have been sorted out. And that is their position. Comrades, Ria. Ria. Comrades, are buji buji. Are buji buji. Yes, so my name is, my name is Otai Topnach, a medical student from the University of Nairobi. Yes. And as medical students, we've also decided to down our brains. Yes. Yeah. In that we are afflicted yes. that these doctors here that are now on the streets for 34 consecutive days are our tutors. And so we cannot survive in school when our teachers are on the streets. That is why we have joined them and we are vowing today that this is just but the start. Yeah. And to the general public that is out there, last week on Tuesday when we were demonstrating, we witnessed some impunity of rogue uh, public yes. pe pelting stones at us. Mm. Okay? Yeah. I want to actually uh, tell them, to anyone who would want to trivialize our, uh, our grievances, okay? To anyone who would want to deem our demands as inconsequential, mm. we want to say this to you that our demands are not the genuine pronouncements of malcontents. But these are the sine qua non in legal terms of a, of a healthcare ecosystem devoid of any pathological dysfunction. So we, so we are fighting for you. Comrades power. Comrades Ria. Look at it through my lenses. Okay? Look at it through my lenses. This government. I want to say that this government is now afflicted by a peculiar form of fiscal schizophrenia. Amen. Yes, and this yes. is why I say that. That on one hand, mm -hmm. on one hand, they, they are actually uh, promoting the doctrine of penury and destitution. Mocking our doctor interns, okay? Mocking our doctor interns to subsist, okay? To a budgetary shoestring, thinner than a tricom. While on the other hand, while on the other hand, they are hemorrhaging the public pass, a kind of hemorrhage that I can only compare to that of a ruptured aortic aneurysm. Comrades, Ria! Comrades, Abuji Buji! And as an astute student of psychology, and as an astute student of psychology, we refute, we refute the disingenuous pronouncements of our senior government officers that uh, we should live within our means. Should we stand idly by to live within our means as expensive curtains worth millions of money, 700 million, adorn the halls of power? Should we? No. Should we? No. Should we, the custodians of healthcare, beg on our knees no. for sustenance no. okay? while the, our nation's coffers are running dry? No. Should we? No. So we therefore deny, we refute we reject and that is an obscene thing that has never been witnessed before. Yeah. And 
let me tell you one thing. I'm a piano is alive. How can you be a doctor that 12,000? I'm a piano is alive. Tomorrow we have a general assembly, doctor's assembly, and I urge all the medical students from around the, 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 the world, okay? We want to take it international, okay? From around the world to join us tomorrow in our doctor's assembly, and therefore, Comrades, yes. Comrade, one last thing, yes. okay? Yes. Mandamanos are for Tuesdays, and Tuesdays are for Mandama. Mandamanos. Mandamanos are for Tuesdays, and Tuesdays are for Mandama. Mandamanos. Comrades, power. Power. Comrades, Ria. Ria. Comrades, bulldozer. Yes. 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 Now we are continuing this part in our discussion, but just a quick request for those who are watching and you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to our channel. Subscribe, so much. Thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much, and back to this discussion. Now, doctors understand psychology. So if you want to play a revised psychology on them, it is not easy. They have eyes, they can see, they can hear, they can understand, they can analyze the situation. So before they got to the road, they were well aware that... This government is playing them. There is money, but no one is willing to give them their due. In terms of the argument they had some time back. So you inherited the government. And your work is to make sure that the government is running as per what you have taken over from the previous regime. Then improve on that. If there is areas you want to negotiate, do it. But they, were, they are listening to nothing. They are not even willing to negotiate on anything. What they want is doctors to listen to them, period. You cannot tell doctors that we should live within our means when we see you and your administration, your CSS and other senior government officials running all over on the street with more than 30 vehicles, fuel gatherers. They spend huge. They live big. Just check what they spend on hospitality. Then you tell doctors, we should live within our means. If you are demonstrating what you are saying, it will be very easy for doctors to understand. But because you are splashing money, spending hugely, they can see. They know how you are collecting taxes. These are not stupid people. Well-learned individuals. They understand very well that there is enough money until a budget that should be taken one year is being spent within six months. State house budget. So medical students are now tired of being in class without their tutors. So they will not sit in a class, waste their time when there's no one to teach them in the class. So the only thing to do in their wisdom is to get out of the class, join their teachers to speed or catalyze for this uh, protest so that this issue will be sorted out quickly and then the teachers will be in class and the students will be enjoying sitting under the feet of their teachers to learn from their wisdom and knowledge. Why make a Because what will they, you know, it is just obvious thing. What will they be doing in a class when there is no teachers? For a month, they have not had lessons. So it is better just join them on the protest. <laughs> so with their, in their own wisdom, I believe they are right because you are wasting time in a class because there is no teacher. So join the teacher in a protest Make it serious so that you catalyze for this strike. And then once a solution is out, you will be in class. That direction they are going to. So imagine you have had interns and, uh, and the doctors on the street. And now medical students joining them. Instead of finding a solution, you made the problem more big. So, you have to deal with the doctors, the interns, and now students who are now on strike. They have joined their hands together. So, this is going to be a bombshell. It's going to be big. It is huge. 
Ruto and Nahumita have to address this issue. So as we thought that, the only thing you can do is to look for a compromise judge, rush to the court, get a court order, come and stop protest. No, it is not going to work that way. Doctors have been boosted by students who are now joining them on the street. And you see they are now wearing a red barrel. So that shows that that thing they are tying on the head, the red one, it is an indication of reject, you know, protest. It is a strike. It is a rejection. They are protesting. So with that alone, it tells you that they are serious on this protest. Wakisha funga tuya kitambaya red wana manisha wako komanda mano wana kata mambo ya serikali. So it's not going to stop at any point. In as much they used big vocabularies, still the message was very clear. Sort out the doctor's issue, we will be back in hospital. So when you tell doctors that to live within their means, it's a mockery. You're mocking them. When you refuse to pay them what they're demanding for, you are mocking doctors. When you refuse to talk about or sort out their welfare, you know, their working environment, you are mocking doctors. So every Tuesday, they have pronounced themselves that it is going to be mandamano. So expect, expect every Tuesday to have massive protest led by doctors, interns, and medical students. So it is not going to stop at any point. So if Ruto and uh, the CS for Health thought that they will quickly sort out the issue of doctors, force them on, uh, in hospital, like what Kuria is now proposing, that we should not have permanent employment. Uh, civil servants should work on uh, short-term contracts. This cannot intimidate doctors to go back to hospital. They have to look for a long solution. Mamboya, you know, instant coffee solution is not going to work in any way. So the protest is going to continue. We are now entering second month of protest. And uh, the government has looked for a way to sort out this mess. They have proved to everyone that there is enough money because they are living big, not within our means. They are splashing money all over. They are spending big on hospitality. To do a repair, they are using millions of money, more than what was used to put up a new house. So you can't convince anyone that there is no money. This government has proved there is enough money. They want to employ more people who will earn bigger salary. What you can pay, you know, 10 interns is going to be spent in a one person as a salary. The issue of cars, chief administrative secretary, Niakazigan, and they are determined to employ these people. So the issue of living within our means is neither here nor there. 